guys, this is Will from Going Awesome Places. And you know me, I'm always looking for a way to travel minimally and ultra light. And what better example than a couple times a year I go on a trip where I'm either camping, doing canoe trip, or hiking. And so one of the things that is a big challenge when going on these trips is I gotta bring this guy. Now this is the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL2, a two-person tent, and it weighs one pound, 15 ounces. And I gotta carry this with me when I'm going on these type of trips. You also have to remember that I have to bring a sleeping pad as well, along with all the other gear that I have with me. So I thought, I don't need this. Why don't I try something a little bit different? So I have three things in front of me. The first is the hammock itself. This is the Rue single hammock, a hammock for one. Now I also have the Python 10 feet. These are gonna be the ropes that I'm gonna need to tie the hammock together. And finally, I have the dragonfly. The dragonfly is the insect net, and I think I'll need that in case of mosquitoes. So to make things a little bit interesting, I brought along a special guest. So I have my wife here, Chantal, and what I thought would be interesting to do is, how long is it actually gonna take to set this up? Because we've never actually used a hammock before. I've yep. never set one up. No, me neither. We've never traveled with one, and I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. We've, we haven't looked at any instructions, any videos, nothing. Nothing, nada. Okay, so I'm gonna start first to see how long it takes to set up the hammock and then it'll be her turn and we'll see who comes out on top. All right, so I have never done this before. <laughs> oh no, these trees, are, these trees are too wide apart. What do we do? Fail. I don't know if we can complete this project. <laughs> so yeah, these trees are a little bit too thick and a little bit too spread apart. So I can't actually hook these two together. That's a problem. How are those trees over there? Hmm. Okay, a slight miscalculation. So we kind of had to move locations. We're gonna give it a try here. We got smaller trees and trees that are a little bit closer. So a small lesson learned from a newbie hammock user, but the challenge begins. Okay, right. So I'm gonna start off with the Python 10 and okay, right around here. Okay, we'll see. Maybe I'll do it a little bit higher. Okay, we got one, we got one. Oh wow, okay. Oh. Just bring the loop first. I feel like that could help. But let's bring this guy around. Okay, we got good support. You got the Rue single hammock. Beautiful blue, man. It's really nice. Okay, hopefully this works. Got the carabiner. Oh yeah, I think, I think this is a, enough space. Oh, totally. Yeah, so depending on where I want this to be. And time. Oh wait, I'm not done. I still got the dragonfly, shit. <laughs> Okay, dragonfly. This is gonna keep all the mosquitoes out. Man, this is a bit more complicated. Oh, wait a second. So I think I gotta thread the thing through it. Okay, so, so maybe this has gotta come through, and that would make sense. The fly has to go through the hammock. So you cinch this thing down, cinch it down. I'm guessing you got to tie. Can't lose this challenge. Oh, I see. Okay, so maybe you bring it up here and I see there's a clip. Now we gotta do this side. And that's it. To keep the mosquitoes out, gotta cinch this down. Aha! Now, I'm done. 
Oh! <laughs> oh, Newbie fail! Help! <laughs> oh no! Oh. Okay. 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 That was not a successful, not a successful first sitting. I'm in. Time. It's my turn now. Um, I think I have an advantage because I already saw Will do it once. So um, here we go. Straps first. Tree. I'm a tree hugger. Okay. This way. <laughs> How come? The clock's ticking. Taking out the roux single. So this is one end. I don't know, something like that. And then I saw Will do this dragonfly. You know mosquitoes love me, so this is gonna be awesome. Necessity. Oh no, struggling. <sighs> I thought we'll untangle this. Okay, cinch that through first. Oh, like like a draw. It's like a drawstring. This is very smart design. Okay, make sure the other side is good. Okay, there we go. Wait, oh. Oh, my, my entrance is on the other side. Is it too high? <laughs> okay, and make sure I don't fall in like Will did. Yes, and time! You win! Hey, so that was not a fair competition. Chantel totally had a leg up by watching me do it the first time around. She did win and she learned what not to do. So I've had a chance to test the Rue single Kamek and I've been really impressed. So why don't we start off with the dragonfly? I mean, the main purpose of this thing is to prevent mosquitoes from coming in and with the cinches on both sides and the material that they use here, it completely covers you from mosquitoes and flies and gnats and things like that from coming inside. So it does its job. Now, the other thing is that you'll notice to get in and out of your hammock, there's a zipper that runs the length of the fly. And it's actually really easy to use. I like how there's two zippers, one on the outside, one on the inside. And there's a tab that allows you to easily open and close it. So it's a really easy operation. The other thing I really like about the Dragonfly is that it's got three loops here at the top. And these three loops give you the option of hanging additional things up here, but it also allows you to hang in your headlamp at night if you need that. And last thing, I gotta say that I like having this Dragonfly because if I accidentally drop something in the middle of the night, I'll be able to access it by reaching down and, and getting it. It doesn't get lost at the bottom. I know exactly where it's gonna end up. So that's a pretty nice feature. So the next thing I wanna talk about are the Python straps. Now these are the straps that are keeping me afloat right now and they're incredibly strong. Rated for 500 pounds, these things are so strong and you saw how easy they were to set up. Now a few features that they have on this are that they have built-in reflective tracers. This means that if you shine light on them at night, you're gonna see where exactly your hammock is. And another thing that's really good about these is that there are 20 points of connection. Right now, I think I'm on loop number three or four, but depending on the spacing of your tree and how you want to set up your hammock, in terms of whether it's 30 degrees or maybe another different angle that you enjoy being at, you got a lot of options. So these two Python straps are something that you're definitely going to want to invest in. And of course, the main attraction here is the hammock itself. And so the Rue single is incredibly comfortable. The fabric that they use is called Gravitas and it's just got so many different features in it which make this thing so comfortable. So one, it's breathable, it's not stretchable, so it retains its shape over long periods of use. Um, it's just incredibly soft. Like being inside this hammock is like being in a cocoon. It's so soft 
and it feels like you're wrapped around silk. It's incredible. The other thing I really like about this hammock is that it's got eight different loops built in. So similar to the loops that are built into the Dragonfly, you have eight different options for connections. So like I have here, I got, I got a bag over there, a bag over here, a bag over there. This is perfect for things like the wash pouch by Peak Design, a packing cube that's also by Peak Design, and then the shoe pouch. So a lot of these things I can just hook on and have access to anytime I want, and I don't have to have anything on the bottom. And of course, the stuff sack. So this stuff sack is just built into the hammock itself. And when you have it hung up like this, it doubles as a cup holder. Pretty sweet, right? What's not to like? This is a really well-constructed hammock. It does its job. It's incredibly comfortable. It was easy to set up. So easy that even Chantel beat me, which never really happens. The other thing to remember is that the tent is a bit of an awkward shape. It's, it's quite long and it's pretty thick. So you gotta find a place for it. And usually that means at the bottom of your backpack or the outside side pockets. With this, they come with three different stuff sacks. You just place them in your bag and you're good to go. All right, now let's talk about the weight. As you remember, one of the tents that I use on all my trips is the Big Agnes Fly Creek UL, and that comes in at one pound, 15 ounces. Now, if you add all these things up, including the Dragonfly, that's one pound, 12 ounces. So it's three ounces lighter, which may not seem like much, but it does make a difference. The other thing you gotta consider is that when you're traveling with a tent, you have to bring a sleeping pad, and a sleeping pad is gonna have its own weight. Here, you're not really having to worry about a sleeping bag at all because you're already off the ground. So I hope you enjoyed my graceful fall and my review of the Kamek Roo single. If you have any questions, make sure you drop a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell and like that video. But anyways, this is Will from Going Awesome Places and I'll see you guys next time. Another benefit of having... Oh God. <laughs> Help, it happened again. Well then, you should have told me I was listing off to the wrong side.